SSDs, 200 gigabyte storage for $60. It's really hella hard in that. Uh, I don't have an umbrella. This is the last time I got that. Hopefully, that doesn't get away. <laughs> Raining so hard. Dude, rip my laptop. Shoot, yo, I think I'm lost. Yeah, I can't find the address, yo. I could have brought an umbrella this morning. God damn it. Yo, I think I found it. The, the dude told me to take a left turn. I like the weirdest spot. Ah, I think this is it, guys. SSD I storage. Okay, hopefully they're all working. <laughs> this way, yeah, it's all my dad gets here so I can test it out. This is a really good deal, right? If they all work, considering they're 240 gigabyte SSDs. Sure, they're used, but they're twenty dollars each. All right, twenty dollars each on AliExpress will get you a 120 gigabyte SSD. But their speed is like really trash. It's like a hundred megabytes per second, right? So hopefully these all work. Well, it's twenty dollars Canadian, by the way. So that would be roughly around like fifteen bucks US, I think. Okay, they have arrived. Let's go. Let's go. Hello. Now with all this tested, uh, I have another deal coming up on Saturday, I'll get back to you guys on Saturday. Wait, it is Thursday, I'm wearing a different pair of glasses. Right now we're gonna go get two deals, which I scored from Facebook. It is a GTX 760 2GB for $70 and a Ryzen 5 2600 and a B350 motherboard combo which I'm gonna get that for $1220 oh and I'm picking up a 16 gigabyte of DDR3 memory for 50 bucks it's kind of expensive but uh, it is what it is here's a 16 gigabyte DDR3 50 bucks not bad okay on to the next deal Okay, right now it's Friday, the next day. I'm gonna go to Canada Computers to pick up two MATX cases, and then I'll be heading to one of the dealers I deal with and picking up four 4th gen motherboards, Intel 4th gen, and four 500 watt power supplies. And I managed to get a i7-4790 for $100 from the dealer. So, total is gonna be $360. So let's get to it. Okay, so I got these two cases, $100, $50 each. It's the Matrix 30 MATS case. It's a, it's a pretty good budget case since I'll be building a bunch of budget builds this month because uh, I'm getting ready to build a couple of high end or mid range during Christmas. So, yeah. Alright, now let's go to my dealer. And here's the four power supplies I'm talking about. It's all Cooler Master, it's like 500 watt and plus, so yeah, the guy said they work, so yeah. Over here is the, the 4 H81M slash C slash CSM motherboard. Got four of these, and the CPU should be here. And this the, the C 
CPU i7-4790. Alright, it's gonna unload these and I'm gonna use the 4790 to build a computer in this case. Alright, and one more thing on Sunday, I will be picking up two graphics cards, so I'll see you guys then. Okay, and here is the finished computer. It's the i7-4790 with the GTX 760 we picked up the other day. In this power supply, it didn't. It only came with one six-pin power. So, luckily, I had this uh, two Molex to one six-pin. So, I don't know. This power supply had like a lot of Molex and like connectors. So, yeah. So that worked. And right now, not enough RGB. So, I'm just gonna wait until my AliExpress fans come the next week. One in the back and one in the front. And then I'm planning to sell this for five hundred and fifty. 580-ish. That's Canadian though. And uh, right now I'm just benchmarking it since it's basically finished, just not, not no airflow. But here's the Heaven Unigen Heaven score. It looks it looks pretty normal. And here's the CPU temps. And it's yeah this this CPU cooler is actually. Like really good. Picked this up for like 20 bucks each, and I bought like five, six of them. Yeah, but I'm only down to like the last two now. So yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, and one other thing is I got a GTX 1060. So here's the GTX 1060. Got it delivered to my house for 200 plus 10 dollars shipping. From a good, uh, well, it's not really delivery. It's like, well, it's like local delivery. The guy wanted to charge extra ten, so two ten for a GTX ten sixty three gigabyte. Uh, it's pretty expensive, but it's better than paying three hundred. Okay, so it's Saturday, and I just finished grabbing all the parts I was talking about. Uh, oh, on the way, I also got a B450 board for $60. It's missing like the bottom standoff bracket thingy, but I have some at, in my studio, so and that's fine. Uh, and here is the graphics card. Is the HD 7930, 797, 3GB version. Uh, the guy said it's working, and if it's not, I can bring it back. Yeah. Hey, right, that's pretty good. And the thing, the other graphics are, I was gonna get that someone else got it instead was uh, R73, R7 374GB. I was kind of sad actually because I wanted to try that graphics card, but I'm not gonna pay $150 for that, right? So, the guy said someone paid asking for it, which is kind of insane because it's nowhere near that price, in my opinion, because it's not even as powerful as a 1050, right? So, 60 is the max I would pay for it, but hopefully, another one of those comes up in the future. So, that's it for this month's parts hunt. Hopefully I can make another one next month if people actually like this. Yeah, okay. Oh, forgot to say, please subscribe and like the video. Because, why not, right? Yeah, okay. Goodbye.